The Merrill twins never apologized for their racism. The Merrill twins made a video two years ago called, Getting Hate for Liking K-Pop, which is their apology for saying offensive things. But their apology is not an apology. And that's not my opinion, it's facts, from educated PhD psychologists. I will show every part in the video where they attempted an apology, but were always backed out with insincerity and excuses. I will also put the link of the video in the description so you can watch it for yourselves so that you all don't think that I manipulated the video in any way. Also, they never even admitted to being or saying racist things or ever apologized for being racist. So I will first put up screenshots of what makes an apology insincere. Not by me, but by educated PhD people. I will also include the links in the descriptions. An insincere apology would be something like, I'm sorry you feel that way, I'm sorry if I offended you, I'm sorry, but aren't you being too sensitive? You call that an apology? 1. A true apology needs to be sincere. 2. A true apology does not include the word but. 4. A true apology doesn't get caught up in who is to blame and who. 5. A true apology does not demand or request forgiveness. 6. A true apology requires that you do your best to avoid or repeat performance. Words you should never use when making an apology. The 5 Best Ways to Ruin an Apology Saying sorry I'm not perfect, deflects from the point. So before I delve into the Merrill Twins' fake apology, I'll show you what a real apology sounds like, Carly Steele. Racism is not okay, it was never okay. I am guilty of microaggression, I am guilty of racial slurs, and I've definitely said things that are racist in my past. And there is no excuse for it, and I take full responsibility. It is my fault that I was ignorant. It is no one else's but mine. I should have educated myself. Being young is not an excuse. I should have took the stand and educated myself before saying racial things. I am not saying I am innocent. I am guilty of microaggressions, and saying racial slurs. I deserve to be canceled. But why does it take people finding out in order for you to admit it and apologize? I said things that would end my career. I did. I have said many things. There's no, I'm not gonna say, well, I thought it was this, well, I thought it was that. It doesn't matter what I thought it was. That was my own problem and I should have actually looked into it. I should have educated myself. Do I think people should be held accountable for saying racist things? 100% including myself. I do think people should be held accountable. I do, and I do think people should be canceled, especially when their apologies are half-assed, especially when their apologies are only because they got caught, and especially if their apology is them deflecting and manipulating the viewers to feel bad for them. They say, well, I was young and didn't know better, and I thought it was okay. That doesn't mean anything. You are still wrong, including myself. She didn't say any of the stuff that makes an apology insincere, like, if I offended you, sorry but, etc. But you will be hearing a SD load of that from the Merrill Twins apology. That's why I called it a fake apology. Now let's hear their fake apology. Several months ago, there was a video that was made and several other negative uh, videos that were made criticizing us for our love for K-pop. And the videos are very hateful and point out like the smallest details about our everyday lives and are somehow interpreting uh, those things that are th interpreting those like small details into either racist or Korea boo. I just wanted to say that that was the only time she mentions what they did as racist, but instead of saying they were racist, she says, people interpreted them as racist, meaning she doesn't think they were being racist and doesn't want to admit that they were in dead racist. But nowhere else in this fake apology did they ever, ever, apologize for being racist. Since we were babies our whole lives, um, I've always been told that I have more Asian eyes than Ronnie. So I was just, I just thought I would repeat what people would say and that it would be okay to say that. 
and to this day people still tell me I look more Asian than Ronnie so again I'm so sorry if this has ever offended anyone I'm very sorry about that so yeah so we're very sorry that if that by me saying those things if that has offended anyone I again I was just repeating what people have always told me my whole life so here she uses two insincere apology types using the word if I offended you and blaming someone else for her ignorance. Say sorry for what you said and did, not to the people offended, because your words were just that, offensive and racist. And blame your ignorant self for repeating stuff, not the people who said it to you. Watch my Merrill twins are ignorant about their racism video, because I know for a fact no one ever said to them, you have more Asian eyes, I fully explained in detail why I know for a fact that that story was fake. I just thought I would repeat what people would say, and that it would be okay to say that, and manipulating the viewers to feel bad for them. They say, well, I was young and didn't know better and I thought it was okay. And I thought it was okay. And I thought it was okay. That doesn't mean anything. You are still wrong. It and that it would be okay to say that? And I thought it was okay. And yeah, everyone knows that. I thought it was okay is a dumb fake excuse. So Ryan and I obviously can't sing well in Korean, nor do I pronounce the words correctly. And I'm really sorry if that offends you. Again with the word, if I offended you, just say, I'm sorry I did something offensive. Because that's what it was, it was offensive. I'm really sorry if that offends you. I know that in some of the videos that has been very offensive, the, the videos that people have talked about, that has been very offensive that we didn't pronounce the words correctly. And I'm very sorry that, um, that, uh, that, that's offended you. And I'm sorry that we pronounced names wrong. Um, even said, you know, things wrong. Yeah, um, me too. I'm sorry as well. Like, we offend, offended anyone. But, I'm obviously going to pronounce it wrong. Like, so many others do. So many people pronounce the names Isn't wrong. They pronounce the words wrong in the songs. And, and I just want to say, like, isn't the point that, you know, people are expressing that they like it, you know? Um and accepting it and listening to the music and singing along like I think that's like very very awesome um, even if they don't say it correctly uh, they're still accepting it she did a few things wrong here first she says again if I offended you again could have just said sorry but of course she's not being sincere then she adds in the but she had to show even more how insincere and unapologetic she was she had to add in but then she makes the dumb excuse that it doesn't matter that they mispronounce the words, that at least they are listening to it. If you say you're a fan of something, that you're obsessed, which she said she was, if you said you learn how to read Korean in two days, why is learning to say your fave idol's name so hard? And I became pretty much like obsessed with everything K-pop and wanted to <coughs> learn about the phenomenon. And I did a full-on dive into K-pop. So basically I fell in love with the music videos, I studied what editing techniques they use and even started to research clothing brands that uh, were popular because I fell in love with the fashion. They even made a video where Roni was angry that people kept pronouncing her name wrong. How are you going to make a whole video about getting mad that people pronounce your name wrong, but say it's okay that you pronounce other people's name wrong aka your faves, and that at least you're trying. What a effing double standard. She says it like we should be thankful that she's even listening and singing our songs. Like she's some divinity we should all bow down to because at least she's open to our music. It's like when Casey Musgraves wore the Vietnamese eye dao but she wore it disrespectfully, and Vietnamese people were not happy, and told her what she did was wrong and disrespectful to their culture. Are you going to tell Vietnamese people, well at least she's wearing your clothes, you should be happy that she's open enough to acknowledge your culture, I'd rather them not acknowledge my culture than to disrespect it like what the Merrill Twins did. So no, we are not happy that at least you're listening to our music. You should have just apologized, instead of trying, again, to victimize yourself to get yourself in the right instead of just being truly, genuinely sorry. But then again, you weren't actually sorry, you were only doing this to save face. That's why it was so insincere. Again, not an apology. But I also think because, you know, Ronnie was wearing the bangs in that one broadcast and because we were laughing and we were doing the TT dance and people were calling you Ronnie Koo, 
they were like, this is offensive. Which I can see where that could have been. Yeah, I could see, see where that. that but at where the, that, the line was drawn there. At the same time, I was having fun with it, and I didn't see it as offensive. Mm -hmm. And I, it was never meant to, like, we were never making fun of anyone. We were never making fun. Here she did a lot of things wrong. First, she used the word could've, as though it wasn't offensive at all, but just that it could be seen as offensive. What you did was offensive, accept it. It's facts. It's all in the Racist Moments compilation. 2. She used the word but again. She hasn't been able to apologize one time without saying the word but. She can't just genuinely be sorry for what she did, there always has to be a but. Lastly, she assumes good intentions are all that matters, which by the chart you can she is an example of covert racism. She says she didn't mean or intend to be racist, while someone who does a cover of a song that has the n-word, and instead of not saying the n-word says the n-word, also didn't intend to be racist, but guess what, it still is. Saying you, didn't mean something, doesn't automatically excuse you from the racist and offensiveness of what was said. I'm sorry to anyone who is offended. Ryan and I never once meant to offend anyone mm -hmm. or the K-pop community. Again with the ifs, and the never meant to blank, that's not an apology. If you are a person who's been offended, and if you've taken this time, the 38 minutes of this broadcast to watch it, thank you so much for just being Listening willing to, to hear us out and just just watch this broadcast we we hear you guys we've heard you we've seen the comments we feel like it is our part to say an apology and just apologize to those who we have hurt um we're not perfect and we will never be perfect i'm sure there's going to be something that we say later on in the future on a live broadcast that's going to offend some other people mm -hmm. you know we're growing individuals and so are you and um we're just we're sorry and um, I just know that um, we're going to make mistakes. And, you know, this stuff isn't, um, it's like, I don't know. Everyone's going to have their own opinion. And that is okay. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with having your own opinion. There is nothing wrong with getting offended by something. There is nothing wrong with supporting something. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is us saying we're sorry. And um, we seen those videos and once again if you're one of those people who have watched the full video this full live stream thank you very much for mm -hmm. just listening to us one of the things i hated that she said here was everyone's going to have an opinion this isn't an opinionated matter racism isn't opinionated it's either you're racist or not by definition they're racist there's no opinions here it's racist all they had to do was apologize but they didn't all they did was stray from a real apology and made excuses. As you can see, everything is pretty straightforward here. She played the we're not perfect card, as an excuse to say why they made mistakes and don't blame them if they make future mistakes, which you can see is a sign on insincerity. So here we are making this video not to defend ourselves, but to explain ourselves, which people will be like, that's the same thing, and you know what, okay. But um, there have been things that have been taken out of context. There have been things blown out of proportion of what we do. Mm -hmm. And then there have been things that have been correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So, and we and we now realize that now. And thank goodness we're making this video now rather than back in the day when we were still in. We, you know, we've learned. We've learned so many things. Throughout the apology, the excuse they always made, why they're not truly sorry, or why they were always saying but was because they thought that they were being accused of things that were meaningless, and can't be attributed to being racist or offensive. These were the stuff they thought were taken out of context, at least to them shake my head. I even came across a video today saying that they don't even like Star Wars or Harry Potter anymore when oh, literally last what? night I was really? talking about Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> and I just, <laughs> and even, you know, for liking anime and stuff and, you know, uh, we've liked and we liked anime before even K-pop, and there's just there's just been a lot of things in those you videos. Guys, um, like to the point, like this, these videos were taking or are, are taking very very little things about our lives. Like, for example, there was this one video I don't remember which one it was, but it was saying that we were trying to be like an Asian family because we didn't wear socks in the house, but our dad did and wear shoes. Sorry, we didn't wear shoes in the house, because, but, but our dad did wear shoes. And because we weren't wearing shoes, we were trying to be 
Asian, basically. Um, I don't know. It, it's just, you know, it was like those types of things that were being said that I didn't, I did not agree with. I obviously think that there were some things that we did say that I do agree that people were offended, which is why we're saying sorry. But mm. there's also a lot of things that I don't that uh, that got, don't got taken a little with, out of hand. That got really taken out of hand, and because of these videos, people assume that we are Korea boos. So as you can see, those taken out of context stuff were just taking off shoes and liking anime. That was it. They were defensive about that. But they couldn't even go on apology, and apologize for the stuff they agreed were offensive and racist. Which they admitted there were a lot that they agreed with. I obviously think that there were some things that we did say that I do agree that people were offended, which is why we're saying sorry. Not once in the apology, did they specify what they were apologizing for, except for saying Asian eyes and pronouncing Korean wrong, that was it. What were the other things that you agreed with? What about claiming you were suddenly Korean? saying you looked Chinese when you looked high? And all the other stuff? All they did was complain about the little stuff, like the shoes. The taking off shoes was included, to show you that you always wore shoes in the house before, before you got into K-pop, and only after K-pop, did you start taking off your shoes, but because your dad still wore his shoes in the house, it shows y'all aren't an Asian family. Okay? That's why the shoes were included, but that wasn't even the point. Do you see how they literally made a big deal out of something that they shouldn't have even been talking about? And especially if their apology is them deflecting and manipulating the viewers to feel bad for them. That doesn't mean anything. You are still wrong. They should be apologizing for the things that they said they knew they did was wrong. But no they didn't. All they could do was bring up the shoes. You'll hear it again. This isn't the end of the shoes, but let's get back to where we left off. Because of these videos, people assume that we are Korea boos. And a lot of, and like I said, a lot of the things that were said was like two and a half years ago, you know. And I've taken it upon myself to educate myself about a lot of different cultures and what people have gone through and stuff. And I do realize that there have been things I said that could have been taken offensive, you know, but never once did I mean to offend anyone. She did two things wrong here. One, she's used this time to excuse herself. As if saying it was done a long time ago will suddenly erase and excuse what you did. And time doesn't apply to them because they were adults. They were 21 years old when they said these things. Meaning, a long time ago means nothing because you should have known better. Saying it was a long time ago, doesn't excuse the racist and offensiveness of what you said. Also people like Jenna Marbles and Liza Koshi are getting called out for stuff they did a long time ago too. But they still have to apologize, because it doesn't matter how long ago something was. If you did something wrong, you have to own up to it and apologize, not make excuses and insincerely apologize like what the Merrill twins are doing here. 2. She uses the word could've, again, when she literally admitted that she knew what she said was wrong. Why do they keep using the word could've? There's no could've, it just was, okay? I'm sure there's gonna be and, a lot of comments And there's a lot of people are saying, you don't need to be sorry. Uh, I think that, yeah, we, like we said. To an extent, I think extent, we, do. we do need to say But for not either. wearing shoes in my house, I'm not sorry for that. <laughs> I can wear my fuzzy socks whenever I want, and this is, people don't wear shoes in the house. My dad likes to wear his shoes, and my mom does not like it because it, it gets, gets the floor, floor dirty. dirty. So, <laughs> so, but... <laughs> But we're, because of that, we were not, you know, anyways, nothing was ever intentional. We've always had good intentions, and, you know, sometimes those good intentions may have come across wrong. You know, during live streams, it's such a vulnerable time because it's live, and it just immediately goes up, and it just stays there. Again, couldn't even go one, one apology without saying but. She could have just said sorry, but she had, she just had to say but. She couldn't be sincere just once. That's what happens when fake, ignorant people apologize. They never truly think what they did was wrong, but to save face, they fake an apology. But because of smart educated PhD people, we're able to differentiate from a real apology to a fake one. And again with the shoes. It seems she's more concerned with the shoes aspect than she was about apologizing. So they were annoyed I included the taking off their shoes, imagine how annoyed the Asian community is at them. Pretending to be Asian when they're not being and saying racist things to our community, appropriating our culture for their aesthetic, and so much more.
and the only thing that bothers them, is that I added and that they don't wear shoes in the house. I see their white privilege problems overshadows us minorities. I never once, was that the intention to make fun of Twice? Because mm -hmm. I love Twice. I don't want to make fun of them. No, never were we trying to make fun of anyone. Anyways, so, so yeah. So this is us coming out with our apology to those who have been offended mm -hmm. for anything we've said in the past. Um, we've obviously have watched those videos. We've read some comments. Someone said, who cares about the haters? It's, it's, it's not, not that they're that. haters. It's just there's a group of people who feel offended by yeah. our actions, and we need to address it. Address it. And... You know, and we, say sorry. And say sorry. And uh, you guys are saying you we don't have to, but I feel like we do. And if you could do us the favor, could you please share this video with those who think? No. No. Don't I share think. anything. Let them find it on their own, okay? <laughs> we don't need to. Oh, okay. If you want to share this video, that's fine. And but and this was mainly for the people who, you know, were offended. And, you know, we are sorry. And I really do. Why? If it was a true sincere apology, do they not want people to see it? Shouldn't you want as much people to see it? Truth is, they didn't want anyone to see it because they didn't want people to know they were racist. Because what they said was offensive and racist, so it should be for everyone not just people who were offended. Because when you're offensive and racist, you apologize to everyone, not just those who were offended. Because at the end of the day, it's offensive to everyone. That's why them not wanting everyone to see it, shows that this wasn't meant to be a true apology and again only meant to save face. That's why they didn't want to share it. It was mainly for the people who, you know, were offended and, you know, we are sorry. And I really do hope you watch the entire thing. Um, yeah. We're not trying to make this video for you guys to make, to feel bad for us. No, like, please do not feel, bad, feel bad for us. Dude, like, we're, we're, we're strong girls. We're, we're, everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has their own opinions. It's 2000, almost 2019. It's almost hard to please anyone. And now it is, and I know that this video will not be enough for someone. Uh, you know, it, it won't be enough. It won't be, you know, our apology will not be enough, and that's okay. It's just, you know, it's. I guess the point for us is that we're acknowledging it. We we avoided it for a bit, but we're acknowledging it, and we are sorry. And we're sorry if you were offended. Um, so they say not to feel bad for them, but they literally victimize themselves. Even their title contradicts what they said here. They say these people aren't haters, but they titled it getting hate. They were clearly victimizing themselves, so they were trying to make people feel sorry for them. So, and, so I mean, in, in their defense, they're not hating, they're just offended. This is us addressing those people who are offended and hurt. And, um, not, we're not saying that they're hating. Someone said who cares about the haters. It's... It's not, it's not that they're that. haters, it's just there's a group of people who feel offended by yeah. our actions. And it's they're not hating, they're just offended. It's, it's not, not that they're that. haters, it's just... Why couldn't they title their video, We're sorry, or We apologize? It's because they are just doing this to save face. But it's insincere, so it was useless. And if you are someone that was offended, I really hope that you can forgive us and find it in your heart to forgive us and i hope really hope that you find our apology genuine because we're not here trying to like no we're not trying to be mad at you and say like you're in the wrong for blaming us like we uh we've we obviously get stayed we get it we get it we're we're sorry we we're, we're sorry but there's also things that we had to be explained that were taken out, out of context, context just a little that bit. again they're saying that Didi and intend to make this video to make people feel sorry for them, and hope that their apology comes off genuine. But why didn't they title their video We're Sorry, or We Apologize then, instead of getting hate for liking K-pop? We're not trying to make this video for you guys to make, to feel bad for us. No, like, please do not feel, bad, feel bad for us. Do, like, and I hope, really hope that you find our apology genuine, because we're not here trying to like, no, we're not trying to be mad at you and say like, you're in the wrong for blaming us, like we, uh, we get it. Stayed. We get it. We get it. Titling a video getting hate is basically saying we're being bullied. Feel sorry for us. So it contradicts their entire statement. We don't want you to feel sorry for us. But really that was the intention was to get people to feel sorry for them and feel angry for them or else they wouldn't have titled their video that but they did. And for anyone including them who still don't get it 
They're not getting hate for liking K-pop, they're getting criticism for being racist towards Asians, and appropriating our culture, just because of K-pop. Big difference, and no, their apology isn't genuine. It wasn't genuine right at the beginning when they couldn't even admit their wrongs. Instead of saying, sorry we apologize for our racism they say, we were getting hate videos made of us, and interpreted those things as racist, when in fact those things weren't interpreted as racist, it was what it was, racist. But they couldn't even admit that. So how is that genuine? And several months ago there was a video that was made and several other negative uh, videos that were made criticizing us for our love for K-pop. And the videos are very hateful and point out like the smallest details about our everyday lives and are somehow interpreting uh, those things that are th interpreting those like small details into either racist or Korea boo are somehow interpreting interpreting they were only doing this to save face because they were getting backlash for the YouTube rewind video that's why they made this video or else they would have never owned up to it ever also so YouTube rewind came out and Ronnie so I so this is all because YouTube Rewind, pretty much. Ronnie and I were part of the K-pop section in YouTube Rewind. Especially when their apologies are only because they got caught. Again, if they weren't a part of YouTube Rewind K-pop section, they would have never owned up to any of the SD they did. And again, like I said, she couldn't even go one. One apology without saying but. Biggest harm ever. We're sorry. We, we're, we're sorry, but there's also things that had to be explained that were taken out uh, of context. Just a little bit. That it was just unfair to us. So... You could see literally see it in Nessa's face. She just could not say but. She just didn't want to genuinely just say sorry. Here it is again. We're sorry. We, we're, we're sorry, but there's also things that... Again, it was only the shoes. The shoes. So they couldn't sincerely apologize just because of this? Racist people will never be able to truly apologize and will always find ways to make excuses. Their excuse? Shoes. That is it. Unfair to us. So, you can have your opinions, that is fine, but please make sure you do all your research before coming to a complete 100% opinion about someone. Um, because, you know, there are those videos where, where they take clips and it makes it look like that that's our life. Again. The only thing that was taken out of context, was the taking off shoes, which wasn't even taken out of context, because that's what they did. What else? Why all the buts? Why couldn't they just be truly apologetic for one thing that they did? Also, I did fully research, that's why they couldn't even own up to the real issues that were offensive, all they could say was, there were things that we agreed with, why couldn't they elaborate on those things? Instead of insincerely saying they apologize for those things, but. So I did my part perfectly. It is them both who didn't. And also, she's really going to tell me to do my research, when she's the one who put a goddamn tombstone in her Zen garden thinking it was a shrine. Just for an aesthetic, wore a Chinese shirt, not even knowing what it says, so I need to do research. I think it is you, who needs to do research. Shake my effing head. And I do realize that there have been things I said that could have been taken offensive. We, you know, we've learned. We've learned so many things. I obviously think that there were some things that we did say that I do agree that people were offended. And that's why they both are still racist. Watch my Meryl Twins Appropriate Asian Culture Again video. Instead of telling me to do research, they need to do the research, or else they wouldn't have mistaken a tombstone for a shrine. Arrogant racist. And might I ask what research must I do? 1. They were Koreaboos, which I was fully able to show was true with facts, proofs, and definitions too. Showed they were racist, which they were by definition 3. They are Asian, which I proved with evidence that they are not. So what research must I do on my part, because I was able to fully get my points across with evidence and everything, but on the other hand, it is them who can't even explain their part. 1. Why they suddenly started claiming they were East Asian. 2. Why they claimed to be Filipino, a brown Asian, but said they never thought brown Asians were Asian. Why they were taught what Asians looked like. 3. Why if they were Asian, didn't know about Asian racism. 4. Chinese eyes. And so many, and here's them explaining how you should inform someone they're racist. There's just a, we as a human race have a lot to learn when it comes to, you know, 
what is racist, what is not, you know? There's a lot of there's a lot of things we grew up with that we didn't realize or we didn't think were racist and then you know come to now 2018 where people are saying yo that is racist and you're like yeah that is and i grew up with in a community where they told me that was okay yeah and and that's the problem we need to teach these communities what is what is racist what is not what is acceptable what isn't and i think you know 2018 has done a good job with that and i think 2019 we're we're slowly getting there and um like I said, those videos where people were criticizing Ronnie and I and saying all these stuff, I do think, you know, those can be used for other people to learn from and say like, oh, eh, I should not do that. Why well, I shouldn't say those things too. But at the same time, I also think there was a lot of things that were said in those videos that were very taken out of context and, you know, we didn't do anything unintentional and they made it intentional. It's more of a people aren't educated and they will never be educated when you come at them angrily yeah you That's have a good way to be kind to them and say look the way you described this or the way you're saying this is racist or is very offensive or you know you cannot come at them and say you're a horrible person you're a horrible human being because what you're saying is completely offensive. Or like, I hope you die. Because like, we got in a couple comments imagine, like that. Imagine, so let's say that there was someone who grew up thinking that, I don't know, think, thinking saying something was never, ever, ever offensive or racist, right? And then one day, everyone just attacks them angrily saying, what you're saying is racist. And they're like, well, hold up. That's not true because... I was raised this way, and I don't think it's offensive, so you have to explain it in a nice way. You can't just go like that. I made over 10 videos for them to see and realize what they were doing was wrong, but they still didn't learn from it even though they said they did. Just after preaching about BLM movement, they go and appropriate Asian culture again. So is it our problem to inform them, or does the problem lie within them? They are the ones who aren't learning and changing. Because I've shown them and told them. And they admitted themselves that they know what they did was wrong, but they still are racist. So at the end of the day, whose fault is it really? It's not the victim's job to inform you, you need to learn it yourself, then apply it yourself. We shouldn't even have to say anything. Their bull's tea excuse is the saddest excuse ever. You were taught to be racist because your parents are racist. Don't blame us in the world that you grew up with a racist mindset. That's your fault. Sorry your parents were racist and taught you to be one too. But don't blame me or any other person who called you out on your racism, and then expect us people of color, to teach you about what is racist and what is not. It is not our job. It is your own job, so don't tone police, and tell us to tell you that you're being racist. Because at the end of the day, you shouldn't have been racist in the first place. And we wouldn't have to use a harsh tone, if they actually listened. Here they said they listened, but still in 2020, they're still being racist to Asians. The tombstone and the shrine? Remember? That's after this video, so how are we going to keep saying it to them nicely, when they're the ones not listening? You need to change that yourself. But as we can see, this was 2018, and now is 2020, they said they learned from their mistakes, but we see they are still being racist towards Asians, meaning they didn't learn ST. And this wasn't an apology, but just a way to save face. Also, an apology is never sincere if you keep doing what you said you were sorry for. They said they learned but they didn't. Just one week after this video. They went and appropriated Asian culture again. Still fetishizing Asian culture, disrespection and being racist towards Asian culture. So this apology, in every way, was not an apology at all. It was nowhere close. 6. A true apology requires that you do your best to avoid or repeat performance. Did they change? No they didn't, they're still being racist towards Asian today, still using our culture as their aesthetic, their clothing, their fashion, their video games, etc. No they have not changed giving more evidence that this so-called apology, was not an apology. What does your jumper say, Nessa? That's a great question. I don't really know what it says, to be honest. There's more than just that, so go watch my Their Racist Moments compilation and you will see all their racist moments, even ones that are after their fake apology. This generation gets offended at everything. Like, sorry I offended you with the type of toothbrush I use. 
I'm just trying to clean my teeth. And why would she write this if she didn't think what she was saying or doing wasn't offensive? She blames the generation, rather than blaming the offender. Maybe what is being said and done is offensive, ever thought of that? Only offensive racist people would think that people are too sensitive, or too easily offended. And that's, the Merrill Twins. So again, this was not an apology. This is just an excuse video to save face. All the evidence and facts are in the video you can't even deny it. It was not an apology and you can't argue that it was. I do think people should be held accountable. I do. And I do think people should be canceled. Especially when their apologies are half-assed. So try again. But next time, try to be more sincere.